Hello, Hello and, and welcome, welcome to, to the Book Doctors, Doctors YouTube channel. We got a comment last week we did. that had to do with what to put in the subject line of an email to an agent. And this got us thinking because... No. Sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, remember, remember. See, I've lived with an agent for 20 years now. These agents, they get 100 emails a day. And the first thing they look at... Subject line. Don't even open the email unless the subject line is something that I want to read. In fact, it's scary how many <laughs> in Gmail, if you look at how many unopened emails I have, not pretty. No. So we're going to go through the order of things that you can do from top to bottom to make someone open your email and say, ooh, that's something important that I need to pay attention to. Number, Number one, one on the list, I have incriminating video of you doing horrible things. That's number one on the list. That works for me all the time. There you go. Okay, now we're going to uh, get to the real information of the video. Wait a minute. Yeah. Number one, do you have a referral to the agent or editor if you're going directly to an independent press? If you do... That person's name should be in the e in the subject line. So and so referred me to you. There you go. That's how I got to her originally. I was the writer. She was That's she was correct. the agent, and I happened to know her godmother. There you go. Number two. Let's say you love a book by mm -hmm. an author. This agent or editor represents or edits. Or you've just been to a reading by this person, you're going to put that person's name in the subject line and only that person's mm. name. Because if they're a client, they don't know what you're emailing about. Maybe they want this person, you want this person to come speak at an organization. Maybe you want to make an offer on some kind of foreign right. Who knows? Maybe you have incriminating video against that person. <laughs> You could. I once, okay, three. Are we at three? Yeah. I once interviewed a very famous author on Twitter. And that's another story of how I got him, just sheer persistence and niceness. But once I had interviewed him on Twitter, in the subject line to his agent, I said, I just interviewed name of famous author. Who's Neil there? Gaiman. Neil Gaiman. <laughs> Who's your client? That's actually number two, though. Well, it, it's, but it, it's a variation. Let's say it's 2A. 2A. Sorry. If you have something about this client, then you want to put that in the subject line. Number three. Is there something particularly interesting about you that would get someone's attention? Let's say you're a professor at a prominent university or you founded a magazine that people know about or you used to be an olympic bobsledder one of our clients was an olympic bobsledder exactly if that's in the subject line you're like wow i gotta look at that so it makes the person say hmm this is someone not just with a query, but with a unique and interesting background that may have a particular authority to write a book, and I need to snatch this up. Number four? We have four? We're at number four. I thought you had something to add to that. Hell no. Okay. Um, I hope your number four is my number four. Oh, you go number four then. Okay. My number four is the title of your book. Not just saying query, but literally the title. Now, let's say you have a very boring title to your book. <laughs> How is that going to go over in the subject line? So that's a whole other point. This is a very valuable lesson for everyone. Don't have a boring title for your book. We are going to do that next. Oh, titles, yeah. Titles, so that we can talk about that. But the reason that we bring this up in this context is for the opposite reason. If you have a great title, and subtitle can be included, especially for nonfiction, to give a little bit more information, that's the kind of thing that will make someone go, hmm, that sounds like an interesting book, in just that subject line, and allow them enough excitement to open the email. Do you have a number five? I do. Oh. 
if you have an article which has appeared somewhere, mm -hmm. or you've been interviewed somewhere, or you've just put up another video in your YouTube channel, put that in the subject line and make sure there's a link. So, that's five. That's five, that's enough. That's plenty. Okay, so the normal thing that people, <laughs> excuse me, I'm suffering She's from asthma hurt. right She's now. She's playing hurt. The usual thing that people do is they just put query. query. Or something boring or uninteresting. Don't do that, Don't do please. That. Do not do that. All right. If you have a particularly good subject line that you've put that you want yeah. to suggest or have other ideas, please yeah. put them in the or, comments. Or, or questions. Or questions. If you want to sign up for our newsletter yes. to get more tips and find out where we're going to be when, like we're going to Kauai next week. Oh, Kauai. Yeah. Um, please sign up for our newsletter at our website, www.thebookdoctors.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel Every and let week. us know and we'll do something nice for you. Every week, new information. There we go. All right, everybody. Like and share. Like and share. See you like at, at the bookstore. See you at the bookstore. I'm just realizing that I have the blinds it looks going like, across it looks my like face. I'm going to We're going to make a prison break. That. No, I like okay, it. It's very noirish. It's very noirish. There we go. Now we're just dark. I can share. <laughs>